Hello. In this video, I'll be showing you how to launch an LS9 at HPC cluster on ANSYS Gateway powered by AWS. We will need to create three machines. The first being the network file sharing storage. Then we will make our cluster controller. Then finally, our cluster, each of which will use a different type of resource. To begin, we will make our shared NFS storage VM. For that, I'll select new resource, then file storage server. After naming the storage VM, we can select the availability zone. Ideally, the zone should be in the same region where the cluster will be provisioned. This ensures the fastest data transfer speed between the storage server and the cluster. For server type, we will choose Linux NFS storage server. Here we can configure our disk, and finally review our configuration. Now we can create our shared folder. Under the dropdown, select storage, and then create a shared folder. Now that we've created our NFS storage, we can now create our cluster controller. The controller will be a VDI machine, so we will select new resource and virtual desktop. Again, the availability zone should be ideally the same between the NFS storage, controller, and cluster. For operating system, we will select Linux, and then we can add our application. If we type in LS Dyna, we can see the cluster controller. We can then go through the applications on our left, where the first is the Slurm controller. For the cluster controller, we can select our license type and then put in our license server. Next, we can select our hardware. and configure our disk. Finally, we can review our configuration. Now we can wait for our VMs to spin up and then we can create our HPC cluster. Now that our machines have spun up, we can create our HPC cluster. I'll select new resource and HPC cluster. Select the same availability zone as your NFS storage and controller. Select the LS Dyna cluster application. We can now go through the application and its dependencies on the left. For first, we need to fill out the license type and license server. For NFS storage prep, we need to fill out this information. To grab the storage host name, we can open up a new tab and then go to our storage where we can find the host name either under settings or by clicking connect. We can grab the host name and fill out this information. For a local mount point, we need to fill out this information here.
For Slurm node with EFA, we need the controller host name. For that, we can go to this other tab and click connect on our controller. You can select the host name. And then we will also need the private IP. We now have to fill out the Slurm password, where the Slurm password is the password we created for the controller. We can then select our hardware. For this, I'll select HPC 6A. And then we can select our number of nodes and disk size. and then review our configuration. We will now wait for our cluster to spin up. Our cluster is now up and running. We can see under the drop-down menu that our nodes are ready and running. To submit a job to the cluster, we will need to connect to the cluster controller. By clicking connect, we are presented with information to SSH. I will now open up a command prompt and we can connect. On controller, you are greeted with a README file and a sample job submission script. To add our input deck, I will open up another command prompt and use SAP to send the file. Now that our file is available, we can add it along with the job submission script to our NFS storage, which will be located under mount. We can then unzip our file. and edit our job submission script. For our cluster, we have two nodes of 96 cores each for a total of 192 cores. We can then edit the command line for our particular test case. Before submitting a job, use the sinfo command to make sure all nodes are up and idle. Then submit a job with sbatch go efa. We can monitor the job with sq and with the slurm output file. The LS Dyna output files will appear in our shared storage and are immediately available to any Linux VDI machine in the project space through our shared NFS storage.
Once the job is complete, we can post process results by either creating a new virtual machine, which has the LS prepost application, or by adding LS prepost to our existing controller. For accelerated graphics, we would need to create a Windows VM and follow the steps in the administrative guide to mount our NFS storage on Windows. NFS storage currently only auto mounts to all Linux VDIs in the project space.